Today I'd like to share with you a time-saving technique in Star CCM that probably saves me about an hour a day. And I can share it in less than three minutes. So let's get started. You see here on the screen um, a Star CCM model of a plenum. A plenum is a common fluid dynamic device used to distribute flow uh, from one inlet to multiple outlets, although it could be in reverse with uh, one outlet and multiple inlets. And I have set this up using um, an imported geometry from SolidWorks, but you could be using any CAD package. And in SolidWorks, I gave each of the boundaries that I was going to associate with a unique boundary condition. I gave those all unique names, so I have an inlet and five nozzles, which are later associated with this region. And, of course, the boundaries at the region level of an inlet and five pressure outlets. So I've set up a report on each of those outlets to, that calculates the mass flow. Uh, the reason I would do that would be that uh, an engineering objective would be to, uh, as well as possible, distribute the mass flow across, evenly distribute the mass flow across those five outlets. So I've set up those five outlet mass flow reports and a plot that reports the values there <clears throat> and I can bring the scale on that plot down to something where it becomes a bit more obvious how well the the mass is distributed across each of those right now we, we have a variation from 36.3 to 37 and a half so 1.2 deviation across those five outlets now the next thing I would want to do uh, during an engineering project would be to address how possibly the spacing of the five outlets would impact that mass flow distribution across the outlets. So what I want to share today is one part, one click part replacement. So I simply right click the part that I brought in and I replace part and I select my new part Now, all of the, the nice thing about this is that all the associativity, the names were the same and they replaced the original part boundaries. All the associativity from meshing um, specific variables to associating the part boundaries with the region boundary conditions and the reporting and the visualizations all of that has been updated automatically and you'll see when I hit the meshing tool it automatically updated the the geometry and it's going to interpolate from the old solution onto the new uh, geometry as well as it can so all I need to do now is hit simulate and the simulation <clears throat> starts running again. Um, we've reached our iteration maximum, so I'll take that off, but I'll start iterating again, and we'll see our residuals start to come down, indicating that we're <clears throat> moving towards convergence of the steady state solution. And in the reports, you see a little bit of uh, early fluctuation as we do move towards that convergence. Um, and then you see these values start to kind of level out for the mass flow. And you'll see, you'll notice that um, by making this change from the, the closely spaced nozzles at the end of the plenum to this more evenly distributed across the full length uh, arrangement, we have not improved the mass flow distribution amongst those five nozzles. In fact, it's gone the opposite way. But by doing those kind of things, you can quickly evaluate different scenarios and hopefully achieve a more optimized result. Um, I hope you find this technique as useful as I do. And uh, until next time, guys, have a great Thanksgiving holiday, and we'll chat later.